Okay, today we are looking at a frozen shoulder and Julian here has offered her shoulder for us. So we're gonna show you what is happening with the frozen shoulder, especially with her and the other complications that are going on. And what we're gonna do as a treatment, try and improve the range, because that's the biggest problem with frozen shoulder is the range of movement, not just the pain. Um, and so we're gonna show you what we do today, give you some insight. Just as a, if you look at Julian's shoulder now, her complication is, well, she got her frozen shoulder because she's got a slap tear. So a slap tear is where her labrum, so if her ball sits in the socket and the labrum attaches into the bone. She's done a little tear in that labrum, okay, which has given her a bit of instability. Um, it's giving her pain when she raised her arm. And that's what she originally came in for. And then she got frozen shoulder after it, which is adhesive capsulitis. So the sock, especially at the bottom of the joint, has really stiffened up and, and tightened up. And that's basically made her joint very stiff and tight and then she loses a lot of range. Um, and so she's had a procedure um, at the x-ray department where she's had a hydrodilatation. So they've actually blown up her capsule to try and tear the adhesions, if you like, so she's it's freer. And now she's going through intensive physio um, to try and quickly get that range better now we've loosened up that capsule. So that hydrodilatation is a really good option. Um, not always done, but it's really good for her at the moment. So if you look at her range, we can actually get her flexion pretty good. She jams at the top there, so when she runs out of range in the capsule, she's jamming the joint, so she doesn't like that too much. That's a bit awful. Um, but the biggest thing is she's lost her lateral rotation, her external rotation. Can you see that? So she's only getting about 45 or not even 40 degrees there. She's supposed to be at 90 at least. So we're trying to get that better. And so what happens is that ball is sitting in the socket and it gets to the point where it's just, it's just jamming because the tightness of the capsule is just holding it. And what we're going to do is try and stretch that capsule as she rotates. Okay, and we're going to use a seatbelt to do that. We're just looking at that range and then we'll have a look at that afterwards. But that's the biggest problem. And then because she's lost some lateral rotation, when she goes through circumduction, just it's just tight, just rides up and it doesn't she doesn't have that full range and that's what's sore. And we have to get that better for her range to get better. Um, but we've also got to be mindful that the slap tear, which is the tear like we can't reef that shoulder up too much because then that'll irritate that. So that's a bit of a complication. So we're going to go AP, which is that direction there. So if you come this way a little bit for me, Julian. What I'm going to do, like normally we'll AP that joint, push it back in the socket, and then rotate it back. You can see how much more range you just got then, just because I've put it back in the socket a little bit more. But we're going to be a little bit clever today and use a mulligan technique, which is a legendary New Zealand physio. And we're going to AP her joint with a seat valve, which is, gives me a little bit more flexibility is what I can do with it. Come a little this way. So I'm going to get her so her joint's sort of sitting off the end of the bed, if you like. And I am then going to get my foot in here and give her a bit of traction. Now you've got to just be careful that you don't give her a burn on the, on, the, on the towel. But it gives me the ability to work with my hands this way and give her a bit of distraction. So I'm going to distract her joint out and then I'm going to load her that way and then I can nudge her into lateral rotation. You can see how much more range I've got out of already. Okay? And we can just get in there and push her into extension, which is fine. It's going to be fine on this slap lesion. And it's just trying to get her lateral rotation without her impingement. So we don't want her jamming up into impingement. We always keep that tension on. It doesn't have to be too much. And back her off. Are you okay with that? Yeah. And so getting into a little bit of distraction, pushing on that band, which will load her into an AP direction, which puts that ball in the back of the joint like a posterior glide. Get her elbow out a little bit, just watch, make sure she's not wincing too much, and then we're gonna stretch her out a bit more. And this is a really effective technique to give her stretching of that capsule, that adhesive capsulitis get her range back, get her function back, and just drop her pain down. Okay, so we can do a lateral rotation like that. The other thing we can do is then go into a lateral rotation 
and then the mobilization is just loading her into that posterior glide movement. And I can do that with my hand. It's a little bit easier if I do it with the belt, a little bit more controlled, because then I can work out what I'm going to do with the arm. I can also get her in distracted, like traction her out of the joint and into there. And this isn't breaking the adhesives, it's just stretching it out. I like to think of like an adhesive capsulitis or a frozen shoulders. Imagine you've got a sock and it's a wet, so you put it in the washing machine, it's a wet sock and, you've left, and it's all screwed up and you've left it there. And then you've forgotten about it and then a few days later you bring that sock out, it's dried up and it's all crinkly and it's all stuck together. And we've got to try and slowly, not tear it apart, but slowly pull that apart and get the flexibility and elasticity of the sock better. And then she'll find that it'll improve. Now frozen shoulders generally get better in time anyway. We're just trying to capitalize on the fact that she's had that hydrodilatation procedure and try and get as much stretching out of that joint as possible while she improves and just get a feeling better as she improves and see if we can accelerate that a little bit more. Okay, go back to the middle for me, Jimmy. All right, and let's see how we go here. You can see how much range we've got out of that. So that's a really good result. So she improves quite well, and we've just got to try and get her that little bit of five degrees every sort of session, that five degrees more, to get her slowly, 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 more and more experimentation, so then she can raise her arm above her head and start doing some proper exercise. And we'll get her doing some rotator cuff work and some scapular work to help maintain it. But see, she's, her circumduction there is better as well. She still doesn't like it, but she's got better range within that. And that helps her out a lot. And then see that flexion's better as well. Okay.